well, interesting news story right here, uh, proving the fact that why you should never pander to the homosexual LGBT lobby because they're never going to be satisfied. No matter how much you pander, no matter how much you uh, push their ideology, they're never satisfied. You know, and in the moment you have you have to do anything that is seen as a, as a discretion against them, they just go full insane. Okay, so you know, obviously a lot of people have people heard of how Target has been just failing miserably in terms of their agenda to push uh, the you know homosexual side of my agenda. But so what happens is they basically have scaled back some of their uh, homosexual merchandise and get a lot of the kind of reaction from the sodomite lobby. It says on Breitbart News, LGBTQ radicals send target bomb threats after Pride Month merchandise pullback. Yeah. I mean, Target has just been going full in promoting their agenda, but merely pulling back their merchandise for Pride Month is basically getting them bomb threats from radical homosexual lobbyists. This is exactly why you should never bother trying to pander to them because they're never going to be satisfied. And, and the moment you dis, uh, do any kind of discretion against them, and this is even, isn't even a discretion, really, when you get down to it, uh, but the moment you do anything they don't like, they just tur essentially turn into Muslims and radical Hindus and just, just go insane. But this is on the article, LGBTQ radicals report reportedly deluge Target with bomb threats in retaliation to the retail giant pulling back some of its, some of its pride merchandise after significant backlash. And bomb threats were allegedly made to several Target stores in at least three states, Utah, Pennsylvania, and, I and Ohio. An email to the Cleveland store and uh, that Cleveland 19 News reviewed indicated that radical LGBTQ activists may have been behind the threats. They said, you know, Target is full of cowards who have turned their back on the LGBT community. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> see, these, see, the thing about the, the, the LGBT lobby is that they love to act like there's some kind of threat in the press minority in the Western world. In all reality, a lot of so-called oppression they face is just simply in their head. Okay? They're only oppressed in, in their little deluded minds. In all reality, they have so much influence and so much power that they're basically del they're self-delusional if they think they're even remotely oppressed. And the fact that they think this is oppression is, is a bunch of garbage. But Target has pulled their, sorry, Target is full of power to turn her back on the LGBT community and decided to cater to the homophobic right-wing redneck bigots who protested and vandalized their store, the email reportedly said. Oh, so the right-wing bigots who vandalized their store, oh yeah, but you're sending them bomb threats, as if that's any different, apparently. <laughs> yeah. This is going to get me a hate speech strike for sure. I honestly don't care. This is a bunch of insanity from the LGBT lobby. It says in the article, in Utah, Salt Lake City, sorry, Salt Lake City Police Communications Director Brent Weisberg told USA Today that officers are determined, or sorry, the officers determined that no credible threat has been had been directed to the to the uh, two stores. Officers will continue the neighborhood patrols around target locations in Salt Lake City out of a uh, out of an abundance caution. He said in the statement, we encourage anyone who sees anything suspicious to immediately call 911. He added, I mean, this right here pretty much just shows the true colors of the LGBT lobby. They're violent terrorists. Plain and simple. Uh, it says in the article, Target said in the statement the stores will remain open with uh, regular hours, entrusting the matter to law enforcement. Law enforcement investigated these claims and determined our stores were safe, the company said. Yeah. Bond th so, uh, continuing on, bond threats were also made to Target stores in Layton, Taylorsville, and Provo. Sergeant John Otisson of Layton Police told the uh, CBS affiliate uh, CUTV2 News that bomb threats directed toward the area's target mentioned Pride merchandise and came from a bogus email address. As Breitbart News reported last, as Breitbart News reported last week, Target sparked considerable backlash with the refusal of its. <laughs> you can't make this up. LGBTQIA2 uh, or sorry 2S plus. Wow, I mean, pretty soon they are truly going to have every letter of the alphabet in their. A uh, little uh, community they have there. Uh, so the LGBTQIA2S Plus Pride Collection for the month of June includes clothes from the UK based designer Eprelian, uh, whose passport includes phrases Satan loves you and Satan respects pronouns. Nice, real good right there. But it shows the kind of whose side the LGBT lobby is on. Uh, other stores included Pride Collection were uh, tuck friendly bathing suits designed for male genitalia in women's styles. Gross. Uh, in response to massive backlash, Target pulled some of the items from the stores, changing that, uh, sorry, charging that the team members received death threats without citing evidence. Yeah, well, that's just the kind of uh, mentality the LGBT lobby has. You can you can pander to them like there's no tomorrow, but the moment you do the slightest thing they don't like, they basically are just going to send you terroristic death threats. Because why? The LGBT lobby is a terroristic movement. Plain and simple. And stuff like this just proves my point.
And this is going to be getting me a hate speech strike for sure, because the cowards at YouTube don't like this kind of stuff. So anyway, wanted to point that out. Uh, this is just proves my point. It's a terroristic agenda of the LGBT lobby. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.